You know that I'ma keep it cool With you I feel like breaking rules On the edge looking out with no parachute You know I'm dreaming about us too Playing around without a clue On the edge cleaning out With us it's all or nothing Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today we are over at the house. I wanted to show you guys the floors. They're not completely done yet, but they are almost done. They've got just a few small areas left to do. They still need to get to the thresholds. And when they're done with the floors, we are gonna put in some baseboards, but they got a lot of the floor done. So I kinda wanted to take you guys through and show you what it's looking like so far. And I'm also gonna be shopping for appliances in today's video. I have been looking online at appliances, but I really wanted to go in person just to get a good feel of each one and the differences between them. It's kinda hard to see all of that online. So yesterday, I uh, went into the store, we went into Lowe's and also Home Depot, and I kind of just compared and got a good feel for each one, and I think I've narrowed it down to what I want, so I did film it, so I'm going to include that. There's a dog barking outside. I don't know where it's coming from, but I hear it, so if you guys can hear that, <laughs> that's what that is. Also, I'm going to need a couch, so I went into... Ashley furniture as well so I'll include that I found a couch that I really like but I don't know just yet if I'm gonna go with it so today I'm gonna share my floors and we're gonna do some appliance shopping I'm also going to work on the backsplash in the kitchen <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to do all of it because they've got some tools and stuff laid up on the counter and I don't want to move their stuff I can do at least one side so I think we're gonna do that today it's coming up on crunch time and it's not gonna be much longer before I can officially move in I'm really excited before we get into the video I wanted to take a quick second to thank beam for sponsoring today's video I love my beam powder I'm a busy homeschooling mom we've been remodeling and getting ready to move into this house and so it's been a lot we've also been traveling a little bit and so I've had a lot on my plate so sleep is very very important to me right now and beam has been a major help in that department especially in these colder months when we're having some cold nights it's just so cozy to make a cup of this i will usually make it about 30 to 45 minutes before i'm ready for bed i'll take a nice hot shower and then when i get out i'll make me a cup of this and then i'm ready to get into the bed and I have no trouble falling asleep. I don't wake up groggy the next morning. I wake up and I feel like I've had the best night's rest and I feel like I can actually be productive for the day. So Beam actually has seven different flavors that you can choose from. I have the cinnamon cocoa and the sea salt caramel, but you can also do chocolate peanut butter, chocolate raspberry, mint chip. And also just to let you guys know that the Dream Powder contains no added sugar and is only 15 calories calories so this time I got the CBD version you have the option to do CBD or you can do the non CBD there's no THC it's been triple lab tested there are hemp particles to naturally support your mood your stress your rest and overall well-being reishi which is a mushroom superfood that helps to support the body's sleep cycle and manage stress magnesium which helps your body to fall asleep by relaxing the muscles and regulating the nervous system. L-theanine, which is an amino acid that promotes relaxation and helps to improve your sleep quality. And also melatonin, which regulates the body's circadian rhythm, promoting restful sleep. So if you're interested in the Beam Dream Powder, you can click the link down below to subscribe and save 20% and you'll also get an additional 15% off on top of that and a free frother if you use my code Kelly's Corner when you click the link or you can scan the QR code on the screen that's up to 35% off the original price 
and you can also pause, skip, or cancel at any time. So there's no risk. So a big thank you to Beam for sponsoring today's video. We are going to, I think, go ahead and I'll show you guys the floor. All right, so here we go, walking into the front door. This is the front room, and then what's gonna be the classroom there to the left. I have taken a lot of my little side tables and stuff out to my shed just so they wouldn't have to keep shuffling those around. Um, but this is how much floor we've got left over. They're not gonna have to use much more of this because they've only got a few little spaces left to do and there's just no way they're gonna use all of that. So I think we are gonna use the rest of it over in my mom's house. So um, I've got to get new vent covers. I've just trashed the ones that were here. They're really rusted and broken and nasty looking. So I just went ahead and tossed those. I haven't gotten all of them out yet, but I will do that once they are completely done with the floor. This is walking into the laundry room. They've got just a little bit left to do here, but this is how it's looking so far. And over in this little nook here by the back door, I think it's gonna be the perfect spot for a little coat nook. I'm gonna hang some boards and do like a board and batten look with some hooks on the walls for coats and maybe add some storage for shoes. I think that's gonna be the perfect spot for that. This is walking into the master bedroom and it just looks so good. I'm loving this floor so, so much. It does look a little bit more gray here in the house, but I really think it depends on how the light hits it because sometimes you can really see the oak color shining through and then other times it just looks more gray. Like I said, it really just depends on how the light is hitting it. So coming into the master bathroom, it's what it's looking like in here. It's looking so good. It's starting to look like a whole new house in here and I'm loving it. Um, my bathtub, I think I'm gonna paint this and uh, somebody was asking to see the sides of my tub and the last time I had talked about it. So um, I've got to reattach those. I've got some white duct tape, I think, you know, will work for that. But we also got our, one of the new toilets put in. Um, they're still working on getting the other one put in. We had a little mishap when they delivered them. One of them was broken, so I had to contact Home Depot, have them... Uh, pick up the old toilet and bring us another one. So um, they're still working on getting the other one down, but this is the other bathroom. Still gotta get the floor down in here, but the old toilet is gone. So this is Kai's bedroom and what it's looking like. And then just this little area here in the hall is I think all they have left on this end of the house left to do. Um, but this is the bedroom that's gonna be raised eventually. Um, her closet is a pretty good nice size. It's a little bit bigger than the other two closets, but her room is a little bit smaller. So, and then this is coming into the room that Kane and Ray are going to share temporarily until Ray gets her bedroom. So they have this little closet left to do and their bedroom I think will be done. So once the flooring is done, I'm gonna go pick out some baseboards. I pretty much already have some picked out. It's just a matter of getting those ordered and I'll probably go ahead and paint them before they put them down. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with y'all the furniture store footage. So thankfully we already have beds and dressers. Um, I've got a kitchen table. Me and my mom are gonna trade kitchen tables. So she wants something smaller. So she's gonna take the small table that's currently at the house and I will take her table. But the main thing I'm looking for is a couch. That's one thing that I don't have and I pretty much know what I want. I'm looking for a big, fluffy, soft sectional. I want it to feel like a marshmallow when you sit down. But this was my favorite sectional out of all the ones that I had looked at today. I just feel myself coming back to this one. It's kind of everything I'm looking for, but I'm gonna keep looking. I may end up going with that one. I don't really know yet. But I will say that Ashley has better prices compared to other places that I've looked at online. They just seem to be more affordable.
coffee table I thought was pretty neat. It lifts up and you can use it for storage too. So I thought that was pretty cool, but we are heading into Lowe's. I was just browsing at the Christmas tree. So we're right there at the front door. I'm gonna have to get a Christmas tree. We should be in our house by Christmas. So I'll have to, you know, cross that bridge when I get there. But we are heading on back to the appliances. And a lot of you warned me of LG and Samsung. So I am steering clear of those two brands. I'm not even bothering to look at those. I've heard so many bad things. We had a guy come out to our house not long ago to fix our dryer. And he was kind of giving us the lowdown on what appliances to go with and what to avoid. He pretty much said that Whirlpool and Frigidaire are the better ones and also Hisense. Um, I think Hisense is made by Frigidaire. I think I could be wrong on that. We have a Hisense fridge at my mom's now and it's been great. We've had it for a few months and it's not it gave us any problems. But like I said earlier in the video, I really wanted to look at these appliances in person and kind of compare each one. Some of them differ by a couple of features and it's just easier to see those kind of things in person. Like these dishwashers here, one did not have the top rack for silverware where the other one did and it was I think $100 more. Also something I wanted to ask you guys if you have a dishwasher with the top control, do you have problems out of the buttons? I've heard people say that they've had problems with moisture get into the buttons. So if that's an issue for you, let me know down below. All right, the last store we're gonna go into is Home Depot. They had a lot more to choose from as far as appliances go. They just had a lot more on the floor. Also, what I liked is that they had their refrigerators plugged in so you could feel how cold they were. I really like this style of the French doors where they open up on both sides and then you have the pull-out freezer. So that's the style that I really want to go with. Some of the shelves were kind of staggered and I didn't really like that. I feel like it would be really hard to organize those. But there ended up being a frigidaire and also a whirlpool. I was kind of torn between those two and I'm still thinking about it. I believe this one was a whirlpool and this is the staggered shells I was telling y'all about. I just think that would be really hard to organize. I imagine, you know, putting our tea pitchers and stuff in there. I just don't know how that would work out, but I really like the freezer on this one. It had two separate drawers. One was to put, you know, smaller things and then the bottom freezer with a pull-out basket. I'm kind of trying to wait it out as long as I can for these appliances because we are coming up on the end of the year and I know a lot of places are going to be clearing out the 2023 inventory to bring in the 24 inventory. So I'm kind of hoping that will happen soon. And also, you know, Black Friday sales. I think some places they'll have their Black Friday sales for, you know, the whole month of November. So I'm kind of just waiting to see what happens before I order. Today, I just really wanted to come inside and take a look at them and just really, you know, get an idea of what I want. And I think I got a pretty good idea now. There's a couple of them I'm really happy with, so I will be watching those online and seeing if they go on sale anytime soon. This is my backsplash. It's a beadboard wallpaper. You just add water to the back of it and it'll activate the adhesive. So I want to line underneath my cabinets with this. I really wanted to put this in my kitchen because I think it's just gonna look so cozy. Over here, I kinda want that to be like my little coffee bar area. So I'm just imagining this with a cozy little lamp over there in the corner. I think it's gonna look really good. And you can also paint this stuff so you can paint it whatever color you want. I'm gonna paint it the same color that I have painted my walls, which is alabaster. Um, I probably won't get to paint it today, but I at least wanna get it up on the walls. There is one section I'm not gonna be able to do just because they've got their tools and stuff sitting on the counter and I don't wanna mess with their tools or anything. So I'm just gonna work where it's open. So I think this is gonna be a pretty simple process. I'm gonna take these outlet covers off and it's pretty much just getting it up there. You just cut and stick, <laughs> that's it. So I will leave this wallpaper linked down below if y'all are interested. It's really 
easy to use. I have always loved the look of beadboard. I think it's just a timeless thing to have in your house and it just makes it look so cozy. That's why I especially wanted to have it here in my kitchen it just i don't know it takes me back to like grandma's kitchen kind of thing so really all you need to do is measure and cut and wet it and then you can just stick it up onto your walls i'm using a sponge to kind of squeeze some water out onto the paper and then i'm kind of spreading it around and then i'm just sticking it up on the wall and the good thing about this stuff is that you can easily slide it around and get it exactly how you want it i'm using a scraper to scrape out all of you know if i have any wrinkles or air bubbles and um, they easily come out with that scraper i was having to cut around my outlets but you do need to be careful if you're gonna cut it while it's wet because it tears really easy. There was one little place by the outlet there that I kind of messed up a little bit, but I'm hoping once I paint it, you really won't even be able to tell. So if you need to do any cuts or anything, wait until it's dry and you can take a box cutter and it'll cut really easy with that. I did decide to go ahead and pop off these seam strips just here along the backsplash area. This is a mobile home, so they're all throughout my house, and I eventually want to get rid of all of them. But these here behind the counter were really in my way for this backsplash, so I just went ahead and popped those off. That way, my backsplash would be seamless. And just speaking from my experience with wallpaper, I have used the pill and stick kind. I did that in my laundry room a few videos back in this mobile home makeover series. And it's a really pretty wallpaper, but it was not as forgiving as this adhesive kind that you have to wet. This stuff you can slide around and maneuver, whereas the pill and stick, you have to peel it up and realign it how you want it and I just feel like you can only do that so many times before it would start you know losing its sticky so if I'm going to use a wallpaper I have to say that I prefer to use this kind that you wet that way you can easily slide it and move it it's just a lot easier to work with in my opinion but wallpaper is an overall great way to um, if you need to hide any kind of imperfections in your walls, it's a good budget-friendly way to do that. I'm really not sure how renter-friendly this stuff is, so I don't want to speak on that. But I know that it's really easy to use and it's budget-friendly.
All right, so it's kind of hard to see, but I got from the end down there all the way to about right there where that little strip is on the wall. So I got that side. The only place I need to do now is right there. But like I said, I'm gonna wait till those tools are gone. And then this is what this side is looking like. So the problem that I'm having with this side is that the countertop doesn't line up with the end of the cabinet. So when I did the wallpaper, I wasn't sure if I needed to stop it at the edge of the counter or if I should stop it at the edge of the cabinet. Um, I just went ahead and stopped it at the cabinet today, but I might go back and add another piece to line up with the counter. I'm kind of thinking that might look better. Right now it does look kind of sloppy and it tends to look like that until you get it painted. It just looks like some white paper that's been pasted up there and you can see all the wet spots and all the little imperfections. But once you paint this stuff, it kind of seals it all together and it looks a lot neater and uniform. So um, I'm gonna let this stuff dry and I don't know when I'll get back over here to paint it, but at least I got it up for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I hope y'all enjoyed hanging out with me and seeing the progress on the house. I really wanted to go ahead and show you guys what the floors are looking like and take you shopping with me and all that to shop for appliances because I know a lot of y'all are enjoying this process. I'm really enjoying the process too. I'm excited and I can't wait for us to get, you know, all moved in. So hopefully it's not gonna be too much longer. So remember, if you wanna check out Beam, I will have a link down below and you'll be able to save 20% plus an additional 15% if you use my code at Kelly's Corner. You'll also get a free frother. You can click that link below or scan the QR code here on the screen. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Remember to leave a butterfly emoji down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.